It's even more incredible when you take into account they're raising money for Steve's charitable foundation, which he set up after he was diagnosed with cancer. So welcome to Grenada Reports. <laughs> yeah, I'm a rest. rest. What was the toughest one? Yeah, though? right at the beginning, and, and you know, I give some, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Probably the toughest part was walking you know, across the channel, didn't you? Tell us a little bit about that. There was another crew there to, uh, from, to go across, and they were quite shocked. We've had 12 hours notice, so we hadn't seen a boat, we cratched it, we had the oars the wrong way around, so I don't know how we've done it. Now, the last stages of the London Marathon, when you're in the end of the whole thing, that must have felt fantastic. Yeah, it was this that you're doing, because you've been doing challenge after challenge after challenge. Help you cope with the other stuff that you're having to deal with. It does help me as well, but also... A challenge for you both.